Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at the access control and the inheritance. All of us know that, you know, when we use inheritance, the derived class or the subclass can access all the non-private members of a base class. So if you want the members of your base class should not be available or accessible in the derived class or the subclasses then you guys need to declare them as private and if you have any protected access specifier or the protected members you know then they are going to be available in in that class where they are defined and in the derived classes and they are not available to any other outside functions and if you have any public members in our class and then you know that public members are available in the derived classes in a class where they are defined and also they are available in the outside functions we can uh, summarize the different access types according to where we can access them all right when we have a public member in our class you know it is available in the same class and it is available in the derived class and also you know it is available or accessible outside the class when we have this public member and when we have the protected members you know it is available in the same class where it is defined and it is available in the derived classes you know the class which inherit the base class so it is available there also but you know they are not available outside the class outside you know the base class where they are defined and also in outside from the derived class and if you have a private member then you know it is available only inside the class and not available in the derived class and also not available outside the class so make sure to use the proper access specifier with the class members and the class member functions if you want your members to be available in the class we are defined and in the derived classes and also from outside the classes then you guys can use the public access specifier and if you want them to be available only in the classes where they are defined and in the derived classes then you guys can use the access specifier as protected and if you want the members or the member functions to be only available inside the class where they are defined at that time you guys can use the private access specifier so make sure to use the proper access specifier while creating or specifying the members of a class and when we use the inheritance derived class is going to inherit all the non-private base class methods except the constructors destructors the overloaded operators and the friend functions of the base class so this is it this is about a quick video tutorial on uh, the access control and inheritance thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial